Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Monday's Daily Prayers as we start another week uh, praying together, listening for God's word together. Uh, welcome. Uh, if you're listening in on the phones, welcome to you as well. If you're catching up later on, uh, thanks for doing that. As always, you'll find the words that we're using in the description box below the video. If you're watching, um, there's also contact details there for myself. Um, shall we just take our usual few moments of quiet in order to quieten our hearts and our minds, our spirits, our bodies, so that we can listen for God's word and come before God in prayer. Let's do that now. The peace of Christ be with us all. We say together, my help comes from the Lord, maker of heaven and earth, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We praise you, God Almighty, for the power you have shown in creating the world. We thank you for your love in redeeming us from sin and in creating us anew in Christ. Grant us strength in this life to honour you, Lord God, both in worship and in witness, for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Today's psalm is Psalm 16. Keep me safe, O God, for in you I take refuge. I said to the Lord, you are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good thing. As for the saints who are in the land, they are the glorious ones in whom is all my delight. The sorrows of those will increase who run after other gods. I will not pour out their libations of blood or take up their names on my lips. Lord, you have assigned me my portion and my cup. You have made my lot secure. The boundary lines have fallen for me in pleasant places. Surely I have a delightful inheritance. I will praise the Lord who counsels me. Even at night my heart instructs me. I have set the Lord always before me. Because he is at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Therefore, my heart is glad and my tongue rejoices. My body also will rest secure because you will not abandon me to the grave, nor will you let your Holy One see decay. You have made known to me the path of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence, with eternal pleasures at your right hand. Amen. We say together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever. Amen. And then in our readings through the Gospel of Matthew, We've reached Matthew chapter 13 and reading from verse 24. Jesus told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a person who sowed good seed in their field. But while everyone was sleeping, their enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and went away. When the wheat sprouted and formed ears, then the weeds also appeared. The owner's servants came to them and said, Sir, didn't you sow good seed in your field? Where then did the weeds come from? An enemy did this, they replied. Servants asked them, Do you want us to go and pull them up? No, they answered, because while you are pulling the weeds, you may root up the wheat with them. Let both grow until the harvest. At that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. Then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn. Amen. This is the word of God. So we say together the prayer on the sheets before a time of quiet for our own prayers and contemplations. We pray together. Creator God, out of love you made all that there is, and through the sacrificial love of your Son, you are redeeming and renewing all things. May the same Spirit which moved over the waters of creation, 
Move us to pray according to your will. Cause us to love with the love of Christ and empower our prayers in his name. We pray in silence. We continue together. Hear these our prayers, Almighty God, as we have prayed for those who are fearful and anxious, lonely and struggling, unwell in body, mind or spirit, grieving or dying. Hear us as we have prayed for those who are serving in dangerous situations taking difficult decisions, doing new and unfamiliar jobs, volunteering and offering help. Hear us as we have prayed for those who are close and known to us and those who are far away but known to you. Hear us as we have prayed for ourselves. Hear these and all our prayers said and unsaid for we make them in the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal God, you have set before us the great hope that your kingdom will come on earth and have taught us to pray for its coming. Make us ready to thank you for the signs of its dawning and to pray and work for the perfect day when your will shall be done on earth as it is in heaven through Jesus Christ our Lord. May God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who is the source of all goodness and growth, pour his blessing upon all things created and upon us, his children, that we may use them to his glory and the welfare of all peoples. Amen. Thanks again for being with us today, folks. Uh, I hope that uh, it's been a blessing. Uh, I hope that uh, you uh, uh, know God's presence through the rest of today, and I hope to see you soon. All right. Take care, everybody. Bless you. Bye now.